Hi everyone, this is Natasha and the this video is card 8, 9, and 10 of the Halloween card series. So I needed some craft therapy after work on Friday and I went on Ustream and just grabbed a bunch of my supplies and the girls uh, or the viewers who were able to chat with me on social stream because my chat's not working or chat's not working for me and I know some people have quite a few people have had problems with it helped me out and gave me suggestions and this is what I created this particular card is going to be my cute skeleton and the die is from Sizzix and unfortunately I don't have the number in front of me so I'm just going to show you the die it's a skeleton and you get one of each pieces so I just used a double layer of ivory staples cardstock which is very close to the manila color like manila folder color so for the for the bones that you need to cut out twice I just did it all in one swoop so I had three extras I had an extra head pelvis and um, torso all the rest you needed two so you take one that's cut out the front ways and then you flip it for the other side which is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine but I try to let it go <laughs> So I cut, the card is also of craft, let me just put these aside, I'll show those in a minute. This card is ivory cardstock from Staples, 8.5 by 11, cut in half and then fold it in half down the center, making a standard 8-2 size card which is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Then a layer of black cardstock edged with the angle punch from Crocodile, we're memory keepers. Um, so it, there would be some space for some hot pink bling because I made this a girly skeleton. I could have given her boobies but I decided not to because that would be flesh and this is a skeleton. And because I was playing around with my twine, because I have so much of it, um, I actually made a noose. <laughs> see if I can show you a sample that's not attached to it. So it's just, it, it is a real working noose. And if anyone's interested, I can show you how to make it. I didn't want anyone to kind of get upset by it. It's, it's intended as decorations. So I made a hot pink one to put around the skeleton's neck and the sentiment is, let's hang. It makes sense. It's Halloween. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be relaxed and not too serious. So there's a couple of blings inside the eye sockets and all of these are attached with these tiny little Making Memories brads because the skeleton is all articulated. So it's folded up for shipping, for mailing, but you could play with it once you receive it. So I thought it was a kind of a fun interactive card and I don't know if you notice the nails on the hands and feet have glitter nail polish on and that I just used my Atchuspica markers. So she looks like she's sitting with her knees up but then that way it can be mailed. And there's a tiny little bright fuchsia or bright pink pre-tied bow from Wild Orchid Crafts and a pink noose and yeah that noose really works and it's attached so the head and the torso as well as the um, hips are all glued down with dimensional adhesive but the rest is all articulated and you can play with it and the stripe paper is from Graphic 45 uh, Happy Hauntings so that was that was a lot of fun actually. I had a lot of fun making this card. I know that the back is all kind of wonky, but so that's card number eight. And card number nine is using the witch hat and witch hat broom and shoe. Um, hopefully it'll focus. And I'll have the full recipes for the cards on my blog. I think that's the easiest place to put them because of the various amounts of items that you used. 
and I decided to use an uh, action wobble. So I, I cut out the hat, the broom, and the shoes in the black cover stock that I used from Fellows. I cut it twice and then mounted on dimensional foam, which I colored the edge of with just a black Sharpie because I don't have black mounting foam, at least not yet. I will pick some up and then I used Graphic 45's Happy Hauntings paper. This, of course, there's got to be a dog involved. And one of the chip pieces and then some ribbon that I think was from a gift that I just recycled. And because I wanted to mimic the tabs on the tag, I cut the angles. Oh, it's the angle one that I used on this. I, gave, I showed you the wrong crocodile for the other one. That's the ticket one. This is the angle one that I used. So I just mimicked it. And then I also punched a hole to draw the string, the ribbon through and put an eyelet in there. So this is on an action wobble, and an action wobble is clear, both on the top adhesive and the bottom adhesive. And there are specific instructions on which way. Unfortunately, I don't have one to show you right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll have a photograph of one on my blog. The clear adhesive, I peeled off the side that's supposed to go on the embellishment item, and there is a specific way that it's supposed to go on, and there are inst the instructions are directly on the action wobble. Once I peeled the backing paper off, I trimmed off the extra clear so you wouldn't you wouldn't see it on both the top layer and the bottom layer. So the hat's moving, but you don't see the actual clear. I think if I zoom in you could see. See it says there's text in there. That's the instructions, but it's not visible. So that's um, card number nine. And this was fun too because I kind of went with the idea. I like playing around. <laughs> so this is card number 10. And in this one I used both the Spooky House Sizzix, sorry, Spooky House Sizzix die. This one. And I only used a portion of it. I just cut, I just used a small piece of paper, smaller piece of paper. I run, ran it through and then trimmed it on my trimmer to have a straight edge so I could use it on the edge but because I used black as the background and I cut all these things out of black as well I wanted a textural definition between them and the way I did that is by rubbing each of the layered elements with um, distress stain and picket fence and because of the dauber top being all fuzzy it gave that windblown spooky look to it see that on the house particular in particular and then this is the spellbinders I just had it it's a spellbinders Halloween die that I just got oh it's if I had teeth it would have sank them into me so it's this one graveyard scene and this graveyard scene fits across the wide part of an A2 size card. See? So I just trimmed trimmed it down because I wanted it to only be on the black layer. And then uh, this paper is from... Hold on. It's one of those... Halloween paper stacks that I just picked up. Again, I'll include a link to my blog with a full recipe because I, it's, I must have put it away already. And I just used um, a Sizzix circle, circles die, second one from the smallest, to cut the moon. And the paper itself was already moon color and it had bats in it. It's paper I used in another card, this card. It's just another piece of the paper. So I really utilized the entire 6x6 sheet. And then behind the windows, I used the rest of the pieces to have it like, you know, the house is lit up. And then this tree, I didn't glue down because I like the way it's really dimensional. I just realized I didn't... I used my marker on the edge of those dimensionals. And then over the moon, I rubbed... Where I painted with a watercolor brush, water brush, 
um, iridescent medium from uh, Winsor & Newton. And had I thought in advance, it wouldn't be warped like this because I put it on after I glued it down. And then a couple of the bats, and the bats are off the tree die. I just ran three of them. And each one got a little bit of a distress stain from Picket Fence, just to give it some depth. So that's three more Halloween cards. So um, I'm kind of on a roll. I'm really enjoying uh, looking at all my Halloween supplies. I have far more than I ever anticipated. So let me know if you want me to show you how to do the actual noose, the working noose. Uh, because one of the things that I think we're going to decorate the house with um, come Halloween or for Halloween are these dollar stores skeleton garland but with real little nooses hanging them throughout the house. Actually, I think this one's going in my husband's car on the, winch on the rear view and I might put one in my car as well. So there you go. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's any supplies you want me to highlight in upcoming cards. I'll have photographs and full recipes of each of these cards on my blog. And I'll add this video to the Halloween series playlist if you want to watch everything in the same place. There'll be a link to that as well. Oh, I don't know. How about right here? Right there. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, share. If you want to pass it on to someone else who may not have seen the video and don't forget the subscribe buttons right right there right there i know you want to hit it just hit it just once once is all it takes all right that's it for me for today uh, if you have any questions leave me a comment otherwise thank you so much for watching